With just a few bars of the Tchaikovsky score and every movement across the ice, this production hooks you in seconds. Now showing at Joburg's Teatro at Monte Cassino, it's part of a world tour celebrating the company's 10th anniversary. A success built on attention to detail. Olga, I'm assuming that your costume not only needs to be beautiful, but functional as well. It has to fit perfectly, but then with the moves that we do on, on ice, uh, with the speed that we move, and the partners are lifting partners, it has to be not just pretty, but also like you have to move in a very, uh, very different ways and to make sure that they not splitting anywhere or you know they don't stop you to doing certain things that are you know all the difficult elements of figure skating that we do. Svetlana, how long does it take you to create these beautiful masterpieces because it looks very difficult? Oh that's an independent which costumes, which designers. For example that dress is so difficult to make because it's, you see this little pieces everywhere. I have to cut it, I have to uh, find way where is it, it will be um, on, on the costumes. It's, Actually, it take a long time. Fiona Kirk is a South African national dance champ who's competed in the World Figure Skating Championships and now gets paid to do what she loves every day. Fiona, you're the only South African who's touring with them at the moment. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you being a part of Imperial Ice Stars? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, we experience so many wonderful places. We play in so many amazing theatres, uh, London Palladium, Albert Hall. What more can I ask for? Tell me about your role in the show. Well, I'm the queen, so I'm Bogdan's mother, and I also perform an aerial act in the divertisement section in the second half of the show. Once performers like Russia's Olga Sharutenko and Ukrainian Bogdan Berizenko get onto the ice, every movement accelerates. How have you managed to transform the choreography of a ballet like Swan Lake onto the ice? We tell the story with our language of figure skating, but um, it's acrobatic, it's lots of different elements inside there. Even the figure skating is not usual for what people used to see on the competitions, because everything what we're doing here is quite unique. I know that there are aerial gymnastics as well as acrobatics in the show. How about you try Lift Me? Easy, we can try. Oh, easy, he says it's easy. Okay, yeah. what am I doing? Okay, try. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think I, I need to you just say a little bit. You just stand and okay. look graceful. Right That's there. it. My right leg. Yep. There's my right leg. And hold and your body. There yeah. you go. That's it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at me. I'm flying. Okay, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> you should be spotting okay? during that. Is that right? Oh, wow. No, really. Okay. You don't do that in figure skating. You don't? Mm -mm. How do you not? You can't. You can't, the speed so is, it's yeah. too fast, you can't spot. You can't spot, mm -hmm. so you actually can't do like no. they do in ballet. No. So do you find the lifts and the aerial gymnastics a challenge or are they fun? Do you enjoy them? Yeah, I enjoy it and I find, uh, I will be, um, do some new lift with three girls in this show. Wow. Yeah, so it's a challenge <laughs> for figure skating because uh, in sports you, you made lift with one girl in this show I met with two and we bring new lift with three girls. Nice. So, that sounds amazing. I, hope, <laughs> I can do it. I, I, hope. I yeah. have every confidence that <laughs> you can, especially after the way you swung me around over here. Do you either of you have any classical ballet training? Probably I'm I'm the person um, inside the show who, who did that at the beginning of uh, of my career. Um, I had a, a ballet school um, at the beginning and then went to the figure skating and I was doing them both for a while, but then had to had to decide which way to go because the bodies are working differently for the body, uh, for for the ballet and for figure skating and I had to decide which way to go. But now after my sports career, I'm happy to be here because this is an, another my dream of my childhood to be on the stage and to dance and perform in the theatres. That's, that's another dream came true, but I'm on, still, still on ice. With its multi-talented cast of champions, Swan Lake on Ice runs in Joburg until January the 10th, then opens at the Artscape Opera in Cape Town from January the 14th to the 31st.